Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Jerry. So, today I want to talk to you guys about another Trump rally, Tulsa rally update. So, I know we've been talking about the Tulsa rally for the past three or four days. And, yeah, it's just been really popular right now. And after a long time, we have we finally have some kind of political party influence in our society due to the whole coronavirus situation. So, now that we have something, we got we to talk about it to the full extent. I just want to completely finish it. Promise this will be the last video about the Tulsa rally. So let's let's wrap it up here. And I'm just gonna tell you guys about a scandal that happened. So TikTok played a huge role, and TikTok and Korean BTS and so many other different platforms like that, and uh, so many other different fan bases played a huge role in Trump's rally, not having as many people as it was said to have. So let's go. All right. So basically, to start off with, we know the Trump rally happened, right? The Tulsa rally, it happened in Oklahoma, it was great. And we had um, not 60, 62,000 people attend. And it was really cool. It was, it was 20,000 arena, so only 20,000 people could have attended. But of course, he had 65,000, and it kind of just made it all work. And it was cool. But they said to have a million people attend. And it was really strange and different. And they don't, they don't know why that the, they don't know why the numbers were so low. But recently, we figured out that TikTok actually had a huge role in this. Many TikTokers said that they actually went onto the online platform and they actually filled out the form to actually partake in the rally. So they would say that they were going to actually go join the rally, but they actually wouldn't just show up. So they would just sign up for it and then just not worry about it. So, of course, that's not you're not supposed to be doing that, but there's no legal laws that say you can't do that. And they did that, and many other fan bases also did that. So then it made the numbers seem really high that they were going to show up with. So then they kind of closed off the they closed off the site, and more people couldn't sign up. And at the end of the day, not that many people came in anyway because they just stayed at home with no interest of showing up. So this, we should be taking legal actions on this, but, I mean, we can't because everybody has a right to go on there. And it's really sad <laughs> that this happened where they don't have that many people at, at the Tulsa rally. But nonetheless, the rally went out okay, and people pretty much, uh, the president talked about everything he wanted and how he was going to really stretch his limits to try to make, um, try to keep America great. So he talked about all that. The rally was okay, and people, a lot of people live stream and broadcasted it anyway because of the whole coronavirus situation. So they had to do that anyway. Um, but it seemed pretty cool, and the whole rally was not too bad at all. And... I think it was a success, but many people can beg to differ. But we'll see what Joe Biden does next, you know. I mean, if Biden has a better rally, then that's cool. But I'm definitely going to talk about his rally, too, if he does it. And so you guys just stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys more politics updates. I'll give you guys more coronavirus updates, Black Lives Matter updates. I'll give you updates on everything that's going on. And I'll keep you guys updated. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram, at Solomon, and subscribe. I will see you tomorrow.